We are in the Vendée region. We are at the Total Energy uh, HQ service course is just behind me here. Anyway, we're here to have a look at this thing, the new team bike for this coming season. Let's delve into it. right for 2022 the team is swapping bike supplies they're going from willia to specialized and they are riding the tarmac or at least for the start of the season i'm sure once the cobbles roll around there'll be a change of bikes but what are they using well you'll notice there is no 12 speed joyce or ultegra because but like anybody who's tried to build a bike up over the past couple of months getting parts is a little bit tough even for pro teams this is actually one of the training bikes and if you look closely there might be a few scuffs on there uh, to show that not everything is brand new but this is pretty much exactly the same as what they'll be using throughout the season let's start with them bars and stem roval rapid carbon bars matched to their well fellow stem that's all proprietary to the tarmac frame bar tape is from supercars if you don't know who they are the company is actually owned by the son of the gentleman mike Sinyard, who started specialized wheels are again from rovel these are the alpinist clx these are actually the training wheels believe it or not rubber on there specialized roubaix 25 millimeters and that sidewall is yes reflective because with these being the training wheels they want to keep them safe out on the roads and well with them being a bit um, more robust tyres I know some more using the Roubaix should see the riders not have to get out the puncher repair kit too often when out training saddles are another thing specialised as supplying with everybody having different derriers there's plenty of different saddles yes some riders are indeed using them very pricey very flash looking 3d printed mirror technology ones whether it's the power or the ronin and with this being a winter bike you may notice a little bit of uh, stirrer tube sticking out the top with the spacers on there it's only october so they're still finally adjusting that position for the racing season so what's the weight for one of these winter bikes with the uh, roval wheels the heavier tires including pedals well you're looking at for a 54 somewhere in the region of about 7.1 kilos once the racing starts they'll try and shed a little bit of weight lighter wheels lighter tires they reckon at least in the service course that they can get it down to probably about 6.9 for a 54 let's find out how long it takes to build a new bike how many they got to build and well basically just have a look around this awesome service course of uh, well the new bike sponsor specialized tarmax how many bikes have you had delivered for the start of the season or for, for the training well, it's the first time for us uh, we will build um, around the 25 bikes just for the training 25 yes, bikes yes. just for training only for training we have a sweet air three uh, days yes well, we have a sweet air with the fitting guide so uh, on the water, take your time with the fitting guide and after we finish the bike with a good position after this a sweet day all the rider can get his bike at home how difficult has it been to go from one bike supplier to a new bike supplier has there been any yeah, difficult is there any any problems that you've found 
it's hard sometimes to get all the parts at the same time. It's not the best period to get the parts. It's not easy with the COVID to get some parts from Shimano maybe or, or uh, other brand. But for Specialized, well, it was very fast for the frame uh, well, and parts. So how long did it take you to do the first bike and how long is it taking you uh, to do the, I don't know, 10th bike? At the first time maybe we can build one bike and half per day. After a few days we can make two bikes and half. Okay, I think we've been through all the tech, haven't we? Just that colour, what do you reckon? Nice red fade there. You get up close to it in the sunshine, you can see a pretty model effect. So it's very pretty, pretty, at least I think it is. In fact, let us know what you think of it in the comments below. While you're there, give us a like, give us a subscribe. And until next time, thank you for watching and enjoy your riding. Mm.